Bhujbal Knowledge City, the part of MIT League of Colleges, driven by a single-minded focus on imparting quality education. MIT BKC Institute of Pharmacy established in 2006 with a mission to develop students socio-technically. The institute has maintained the quality right from the establishment as it reflects from the accreditation and various awards which college has achieved. MIT IOP is the first NBA accredited pharmacy institute in Nasik region. MIT BKC Institute of Pharmacy has been approved by AICTE, PCI and is affiliated to Savitri Bai Phule, Pune University. MIT BKC IOP offers full-time courses in Bachelor of Pharmacy, Masters of Pharmacy and PhD. Institute stands for its excellent, well-lightened and ventilated ambience with range of facilities like classroom which are equipped with an overhead projector, speakers, smart board, etc. Well-equipped and spacious laboratories which provide experimental learning experience. State-of-art pilot plan simulating the pharmaceutical industry with range of equipments for formulation, development and evaluation. Institute has separate instrument room having range of sophisticated instruments as per the need of industry and research work like HPLC, UV, FTIR, etc. Heart of Institute the library, one of its own kind with open access, great ambience and various national and international book collections to give great learning experience. Institute is also a well with gymnasium which is equipped with a number of professional electronic and manual universal fitness machines along with indoor sport facilities and music room. Campus also has an amphitheater for social gathering and expression of students. The institute believes that the quality of faculty member and their commitment to excellence is the core competence towards its development. With this thought, institute have more than 50% doctorates, 200 plus publications, 5 patents, 1 copyright and 16 book publications. Our students are encouraged to take part in national and international competitions and events as part of their curriculum. To add further on hat, we have Ms. Archana Kapse, Air 3 in GPAT 2019, Mr. Aditya Darade, Air 1 in GPAT 2014 and Mr. Parag Mehta, Air 15 in GPAT 2010 who have qualified national level exam GPAT with dignified ranks. MIT IOP has signed 8 Memorandum of Understanding that is MOU amongst them are Japanese Industry, Asahi KCI and Malaysian University Technology Mara. MIT Institute of Pharmacy provide a platform for expressing students and showcase their hidden talent through Antaranga and MIT Utsav annual social gathering. Success comes down to you with appropriate attitude, effort and focus which is certified by various achievements which institute has received. Best Magazine Award by SPPU Champions Trophy at National Pharmacy Week Award for the Best Research Paper and Presentation Best College Award by Student Development Board SPPU for Student Welfare Activities Institute has also been honored with Highest Rank Platinum by AICTE C2 Survey for its outstanding linkage with industries for consequently two years which surely strengthened the Institute and students to survive in this brave new world of technology.
Bhujbal Knowledge City Institute of Pharmacy, the place where your search ends. A very good morning to all. I, Professor Rani Kankate, welcome you all in second day of faculty development program on new age educational standards for teacher jointly organized by Med Institute of Pharmacy, Bhujbal Knowledge City and Association of Pharmaceutical Teachers of India. Warm greeting to respected principal Dr. Sanjay Shisagar sir and Dr. Shefali Bhujbal ma'am, the chief administrator for their support and motivation behind organizing this event. Kind regards to Dr. Gitanjali Devkar madam and Dr. Moreshwar Patil sir for being the coordinator of this event. Quickly, I would like to take you through overview of day one. The FDP was inaugurated in the presence of Chief Guest, Professor Dr. Rajendra Kakade sir, followed by the welcome note by respected Dr. Sanjay Shisagar sir. Then the first session was conducted by Dr. Sohan Chitlangi sir on a topic ranking framework and overview of NIRF, ARIA and AICT C2. The next session I have conducted it on establishment of institution innovation council and role of MHRD innovation sale government of India. Then followed by third session by Dr. Akshay Srivastava on implantable medical device for spinal cord regeneration. Today's session focus on understanding of entrepreneurship development say and incubation center. This entrepreneurial ecosystem in institute enabling to build streamline and strengthen the innovation and will be instrumental in leveraging the potential of students in problem solving and entrepreneurial mindset and promoting a strong intra and inter institutional partnership with ecosystem enabler and different stakeholders. The incubation center in institute will play a key role in identifying, mentoring, nurturing, innovative and entrepreneurial potential of students as well as faculty, transforming them into a startup entrepreneur by providing avenues of funding, investment opportunity and networking support to make the innovation and venture successful. So now let's move towards the today's session. For the first session on design thinking and entrepreneurship, today we have with us Dr. Anna Saib Grosser. Then for next session will be conducted by Sanya Bhalera ma'am on introduction to incubation center setup. Then third session by Dr. K. Sheikh ma'am on how to plan a research project. Now I request Sanya Bhalera ma'am to introduce today's first session resource person. Over to you ma'am. Thank you so much ma'am. A very warm good morning to everyone. It is my great pleasure to introduce today's first speaker Dr. Anna Saheb Gurav sir. Honestly five minutes of this introductory speech won't do justice to the stupendous amount of work Gurav Sir has done in the field of education and research, but still I will try my best to convey to you all the vast work trend of Dr. Gurav Sir. 
sir is a professor and former head department of commerce and management dean ic faculty of commerce and management shivaji university kolhapur sir has various educational degrees like mcom mphil sir has three phd's namely in finance hrm and marketing sir has delit from washington usa and also his msw in sociology apart from immense teaching experience sir has given more than 5000 training programs for marketing and industrial employees on various subjects like 5s six sigma time management qwl leadership stress management career counseling sir has developed more than 65 products till date Sir has written nine books. Some of them include Kolhapur Jaggery, Skill Development, Sugarcane Byproducts. Sir has authored twenty-five books, published two hundred and one papers, uh, more than four hundred and sixty papers presented in conferences, seminars, and workshops worldwide. Sir has received several accolades and awards, such as Shikshan Bhushan, Management Guru, Prabodhan Puraskar, Adarsha Shikshak Puraskar. apart from this sir is also engaged in various industrial consultancies now without taking much time i invite dr anna saheb gurav sir and request him to enlighten us with his lecture thank you so much welcome sir thank you madam i am sharing thank the slides check it please whether my slides are visible yes sir it is visible yes friends very good morning to one and all respected authority of the institute principal sir the organizers and the team members sania madam and all my dear respected participants of this faculty development program which have been organized by met institute of pharmacy nashik friends today topic is given to me that is the design thinking ideation and entrepreneurship myself am guru i am very much humble and very much thankful to the organizer who have given me an opportunity dear participants about 280 participants have been listening my presentation on design thinking dear friends the design thinking is very very essential to become an entrepreneur an entrepreneurial quality we have to develop for our own development development where we are working development of our family and development for our stakeholders so how we are thinking if our thoughts are marching towards the entrepreneurial development if our thoughts are innovative if we are generating the ideas then definitely my dear participants we will be an entrepreneur entrepreneurial quality is a inborn quality simply we have to give the finishing touch of it you all are respected teachers as well as the students and the policy makers my humble appeal to you all motivate your students motivate the all stakeholders think in a design way think in a systematic way in my first slide i'm going to give four j's for this design thinking ideation and entrepreneurship josh jugad jajba and junun when we are combining these four j's there should be very good amount of josh enthusiasm which gives us very good amount of design thinking when we are thinking about the jugaad the ideas will be ideation form ideas will be converted into the prototype form implementation form and when the jajba is there check yourself do your sock analysis how many participants are really interested to become an entrepreneur i am taking care of my university skill and entrepreneurship cell and i am trying every year out of 3 lakh students 20 to 
50 students and teachers will become an entrepreneur. And for that purpose, Junoon is required, Jajba is required, Jugad is required, and Zosh is required. With this brief title introduction, how design thinking plus ideation and entrepreneurship development will be taken place. This is a development cycle. I'm again appreciating the organizers that they have organized such a type of faculty development program for the betterment of the teachers who are working in the pharmaceutical specialization. This idea, this thought, in the beginning, it is very, very small. Then how you are going ahead and ahead, it will become a broader. Your thinking will be broader. Ideation will be broader. Entrepreneurial concept will be very clear. And then independently, we will work. So the development cycle, intrinsic growth will be taken place. Friends, before starting my presentation, this is a 85 slides presentation. I will try to finish before 11. Only 30 minutes are left with me. With that, my declaration is what I'm going to present. It is academic presentation. Which information I'm going to narrate in my presentation, it is only for the sake of design thinking, ideation, and entrepreneurship development. In my presentation, I will narrate number of examples, and these all examples are only for the sake of motivation and creativity regarding the design thinking, regarding the development of the ideas, and regarding the entrepreneurship development. And if you have any doubt or clarification, Curie, you can ask me while my presentation will over. Outline of my presentation will be in a precise way. I will focus on design thinking, creativity, innovation, entrepreneurship, how to generate the ideas. Then I will touch five stages or steps in design thinking. Dear friends, thinking in a design way, thinking in a systematic way is very, very essential. I'm again appreciating Sanya Madam and her team, as well as respected management authorities and principal too, and you all participants, because you joined such a type of FDP program where we are going to discuss on design thinking. This is the beginning of design thinking. When we are thinking out of the box, when we are thinking in a different way, when we are thinking with full of josh, full of enthusiasm, full of energy that helps for becoming an entrepreneur. I'm not saying I want to become an entrepreneur, but I can be an entrepreneur to develop the other entrepreneurs. And that type of role we teacher can perform. I'm going to touch the creativity and entrepreneurship. And then finally, I'm going to touch role of this entrepreneurial development with the help of design thinking and ideation. If you're in for the India, independent nation declared in August. The role of design thinking and nurturing the entrepreneurship. Dear friends, how you are going to nurture the entrepreneurship and for nurturing the entrepreneurship, thinking in a different way, thinking in a design way, thinking in a systematic way is very, very essential for that purpose. When we are thinking about the ideas, for idea, inner voice is important. I kept two picture snaps on the screen. Probably you are observing these. A little girl using a leaf and protecting herself from the rain. The another fellow is there. His hairs are in a standing position. He started thinking. The inner voice is very, very important. Tell me at the end of my presentation in a chat box, how many you participants are interested to become an entrepreneur? I'm ready to help you because I'm helping more than 300 students as well as industrialists how to run the industry. Being a cost accountant, ICWA, being a MBA and being a teacher and researcher, our duty is there to develop the entrepreneurship. And for that purpose, the inner voice is very, very important. Your inner voice you will motivate to think in a design way, in a systematic way. Develop the good amount of ideas. Conduct, my dear friends, the idea presentation competitions. And teachers as well as the students will give very good amount of ideas. And that ideas will help us conversion into 
ideas into the entrepreneurship. B indicates that the devotion, development of the entrepreneurship for design thinking, for ideation purpose, how de devotion is there? Each and everyone should work with full of devotion. My dear participants, my request with folded hands, spend at least one day in a month, go to the industrial estates and meet the industrial people, business people, discuss with them, interact with them. That will help for design thinking. And definitely it will help for making your teaching very effectively, your communication very confidently. And for that purpose, the devotion is necessary for design thinking. Devotion is necessary for ideations. Devotion is necessary for entrepreneurship. He indicates that the entrepreneurship, what is entrepreneurship? I will not touch the definition part of it. Entrepreneurship is nothing but the inner voice. I want to do you know, different things. I want to have a good amount of potential. I want to contribute something. And for that purpose, how you are going to become an entrepreneur, idea generator, idea providers, thought providers, mixing of different ideas and development of one idea. You all are the pharmaceutical experts, teachers. How you are mixing your different type of ingredients, combinations. In COVID situation, we developed one spray which protects from the COVID more than 78 hours when we are making a spray on the handles, doors and many more places. 100% about 78 hours we can protect from the COVID germs. Why I'm telling this, this is the entrepreneurship. And we started in the university and A indicates that the action, dear friends, ideation is nothing but the action. We have to take the action. And this is the time. Just I had interaction with respected principal, sir. Right now for Atal ranking, you are having NBA ranking, NAC ranking, NIRF ranking. Right now the new ranking is going to Establish, introduce in all institutions that is a utter ranking. And in utter ranking, one condition is there that is each and every professor or how many professors are the entrepreneurs. That action we have to take. Innovation is nothing but a new things. I purposefully kept a funny photograph on the screen. A person don't want to show his hairs on the head. Then instead of cutting his hair, he is using such a type of helmet. This is the new thing. This is the innovation. This is the idea generation. This is the thinking in a design way, thinking in a systematic way, thinking out of the box. My dear participants, if you are interested to become an entrepreneur, if you are interested to, your student will be an entrepreneur. For that purpose, how you are thinking as a teacher, how you are thinking as a mentor, that thinking should be innovative thinking, that thinking should be design thinking, that thinking should give the good amount of ideas. And when we are doing this, then definitely we will be a successful person. Take it an example. Baba Ramdev, he is an innovator. He is a concept seller. He is an idea generator. Take another example. Kirloskar, he was the drawing teacher at Mumbai. Along with his teaching career, he started repairs and maintenance of bicycle before independence. The institution were not allowed to do such a type of activity. He resigned the job and came to Maharashtra near Sangli, Kundal. It is called as a Kurduwadi, a village, where he started a Kirloskarwadi. He started production of lalten and plowing for agriculture. And right now he become a great businessman. He wrote in his book, Autobiography, when at the age of 75, press people were asked, what is the secret of 75 years of your life? The Shantanu Rao Kirloskar was mentioned that after all, it is a Kirloskar product. Why I'm telling this story, its basic reason is new things are necessary. My dear participants, Develop the ideas, think in a different way, think out of the box. And when we are thinking out of the box, then design thinking and entrepreneurship, there is a very good amount of correlation.
there is a positive correlation when we, our thinking is a design way entrepreneurship development will be taken place my dear friends this is my 36th year of teaching career i know very well we teachers including me we are thinking about research good thing we are thinking about writing the research paper it is good thing we are very much expert in our syllabus it is good thing but along with this we have to think how we can develop the entrepreneurs how we can work as a mentor guide friend philosopher to the would be entrepreneurs young blood how we can convert into the entrepreneurship that is required and this is the correlation between design thinking and entrepreneurship dear friends entrepreneurship is having a correlation with the creativity how we are creative take it an example i will give you hundreds and thousands of examples if you are creative enough Take it an example, a cold ring, thumbs up. I'm not advocating any company. These all are the examples. They are mentioned that thumbs up. So when thumb is up, it indicates that the buck up. It indicates that the cheer up. This is the creativity. There is a blood. Name of the blood is seven o'clock. Generally, male are saving. At a seven o'clock, they gave a name seven o'clock. You take it an example of good day biscuit. The name creativity, good day. Each and everyone feels that good day. You take it another example. Such a different type of creativities are necessary for design thinking. And when we are creative, then automatically entrepreneurship development is possible. Friends, design thinking for successful entrepreneurship is very, very essential. If you want to move ahead, if you want to stop number one, if you want to prove yourself, I'm a different person for that purpose. Design thinking is necessary. And this statement is applicable to teachers, to me, as well as to the policymakers and also to the students. When I am a teacher, thinking in a design way, thinking in a systematic way, thinking out of the box, thinking with Josh, Jugad, Junoon and Jajaba, then automatically I will be a successful entrepreneur. I will be a successful career maker. I will stood number one. When I'm teaching like this to my students, then definitely they can make a good amount of career. And that's why design thinking for successful entrepreneurship is necessary. Friends, the days are come. Pillars of industrial revolution. This is the fourth generation of industrial revolution is going on. And in this fourth generation of industrial revolution, innovation is the mantra. Ideas are the mantra. Thinking in a different way, design way is the basic need. And for that purpose, for making the strategy, when we are we were interacting with respected principles, sir, how to market it? I know very well because you are the pharmaceutical experts, teachers, researchers. But we can conduct a programs on marketing if when we will start our own business. How to attract the customers? Dear friends, when this wristwatch seller selling the wristwatch he is not selling the wristwatch he is selling the beauty of my left hand when a cloth seller selling the clothes he is not selling the cloth he is selling the beauty after stitching and wearing this shirt how i am looking beautiful that beauty he is selling this is the fund of marketing and when we are knowing this for that purpose we can prepare the good amount of strategy and strategy making is very much necessary for design thinking. Strategy is necessary for ideation, conversion of ideation into prototype, prototype to startup and business. For that purpose, the strategy is very, very important. Then only the entrepreneurial development will be taken place. Let us take where are the entrepreneurial opportunities? Because design thinking for entrepreneurship from agriculture to consumption in all sectors in automobile sectors in pharmaceutical sector in medical line in hospitals in research in industry everywhere there is a entrepreneurial avenue there is a scope of entrepreneurship for that purpose thinking in a design way Thinking in a different way is necessary. Take it an example. The great hotel owner, Vithal Kamath, when he was visited to UK, 
and he want to sell idli and chutney but idli is a marathi word chutney is a marathi word how the name should be given in europe in uk and then he gave a name for idli rice pudding and for chutney he gave a name coconut sauce and he made popular idli chutney as a rice pudding and coconut sauce in european nations when narrating this the design thinking is required thinking in a different way is required and i'm 100% sure you all respected participants are having enough ability enough quality enough thinking power simply we have to use our that power that ability in a different way then only design thinking ideation and entrepreneurship development is possible dear participants time is very short otherwise we will play take a piece of paper and pen very fast please and i want to ask you to draw the stars on piece of paper start drawing 5 minutes are over 5 seconds are over sorry i hope so you are listening my speech and drawing the stars 10 seconds are over i kept how to draw the stars on the screen 15 seconds are over 20 seconds are over you are drawing the stars in a minute 25 seconds are over 30 seconds are over 35 seconds are over you are drawing the stars 40 seconds are over i hope so you are drawing the stars because i am not visible to you 45 seconds are over you are drawing the stars 50 seconds are over i am requesting you to draw the stars 55 seconds are over 60 seconds are over please stop it and count count the stars how many stars you able to draw how you have drawn count it how many stars you have drawn note it i am able to see the chat box friends again i will give you one minute start drawing the stars i hope so you are listening my speech and this particular game i am going to take only 2 minutes not more than that and i am going to correlate design thinking you are again going to draw the stars 5 seconds are over friends 10 seconds are over 15 seconds are over you are drawing the stars 20 seconds are over you are again drawing the stars we are at 18 slide we are having 85 slides so time is very limited 20 seconds are over 25 seconds are over you are drawing again stars 30 seconds are over 35 seconds are over dear participants we are playing one small game of 2 minutes second time you have drawing the stars 40 seconds are over 45 seconds are over you are drawing the stars 50 seconds are over 55 seconds are over 60 seconds are over please stop it please stop the drawing the stars and count it i hope so you are counting the stars which you sir want. i can i can see the comments in the chat box here so i will just update you with the numbers earlier the people have drawn around some 10 12 and etc after a minute they are able to draw 30 35 40 that is the number we are getting 
very good very good madam very good all participants tell me which counts are more whether the first drawn stars count was more or the second one and as per the madam's report this is second one am i right yes, yes sir yes. second i'm okay. putting the uh, replies in the chat also second one is uh, more okay very good let us analyze it design thinking what we learn we learn that is thinking in a design way first time we were not thought about how to draw it how to maintain the speed of it but when we started doing second time we started thinking in a design way immediately our hand starts drawing these stars it's a size it's a length it's a structure it's a layout everything dear friends design thinking is necessary for teaching effective teaching design thinking is necessary for effective career design thinking is necessary for promotion design thinking is necessary for satisfaction design thinking is necessary for positive thoughts design thinking is necessary for our family design thinking is necessary for all stakeholders design thinking is necessary for entrepreneurship we learn it what we learn by way of this game visualization and friends visualization is very much essential for design thinking it is necessary for our career it is necessary for success forget it about we don't want to become an entrepreneur but for ourselves our satisfaction for our family for our job for our career visualization is must this design thinking provides the good amount of visualization and we learn by way of this two minute game earlier we not able to draw good number of stars but in a later stage in a second attempt we able to draw good number of stars and we each and every one able to do it so visualization the third thing we learn that is a good amount of planning friends planning is necessary if you can plan properly systematically then only success will be ours and the crux backbone foundation of design thinking is a planning ideation good amount of ideas we should develop good amount of thoughts we have to develop new concepts we have to brought or we have to bring in our mind and that is possible prototype in first drawing the stars we don't familiar with prototype but in a second time when we started we are very much familiar with prototype example type of drawing the stars and another thing we learn that is the self testing dear participants you successfully proved yourself you are a capable entrepreneurs you are a good design thinkers you are good idea providers we learned by way of this and that's why i'm quoting sorry for if anybody non maharashtrian attending this one statement manasa it is in a marathi regional language manasa cha banke cha khatya peksha ananda cha khat samadana cha khat ani vichara cha khat mothe asava lagt and for this instead of bank balance of human being how much i am living with a joyful mood how much i am satisfied and how much i am having very good amount of thoughts on the basis of that my growth my personality my perception my attitude my approach will depend and that's why friends design thinking is very very essential ideation is very very essential which helps for entrepreneurship development what is the design thinking dt stand for design thinking thinking in a systematic way innovative thinking something special if we are thinking something special that helps for entrepreneurship development that helps for good amount of career dear friends we got a patent for breast cancer medicines we are producing we have been producing in my university alzheimer medicines we are going to start the production of syringe which is useful for medical sector why i am telling these all examples its a basic reason is something special is required philosophy to set a tool for problem solving that is a design thinking 
dear participants every day every minute every place there are the problems to solve these problems we have to think in a design way high specialized knowledge creativity complex problem solving and broad thinking and mapping that is the design thinking if you refer the entrepreneurship alphabets enlightened a noble teamwork resourceful enthusiastic positive thinking is all entrepreneurship design thinking and ideation helps for entrepreneurship development if you take any one one alphabet positive thinking ask my dear participants are you thinking positive or are you thinking negative let us take our example only before joining my session i know very well i already made a statement this is my 36th year of teaching career before joining this my session probably good number of participants thought that what is the useful what is the use to attend this lecture whether gurav is going to narrate any good things or simply is going to deliver the theoretical concept this is a negative thought instead of that we have to join yes i am going to learn at least one sentence at least two words at least one word which will help me for developing myself my career forget it you and me we are working in the colleges and universities we are fortune enough but our kids our son daughter our family members our young bloods i am doubtful to get the jobs so what is the avenue avenue is to become an entrepreneur motivate them ask them to think about the entrepreneurship and if as a teacher i'm going to motivate my students yearly about 25 to 50 if i'm able to develop startups in my university by taking the 3 lakh students of my university definitely i'm contributing something this is the design thinking which is necessary for development of entrepreneurship dear participants design thinking ideation and entrepreneurship the business viability people's desirability technological feasibility emotional innovation functional innovation is necessary and when we are process innovation when we are referring this then automatically the design thinking is possible ideation is possible entrepreneurship is possible which business i am going to suppose i am going to produce a saline suppose i am going to produce a capsules or medicines of any x disease business viability business feasibility market feasibility along with the business viability market feasibility the technological feasibility which technology i am going to use whether that technology is up to the mark whether that technology is accepted or proven people's desirability whether the people or customers or would be customers are ready to buy my products emotional innovations whether there are any emotions take it an example i'm narrating these all examples only for the sake of elaboration of my concept don't take it otherwise parle ji glucose biscuits there is very healthy kid is there on the wrapper of the glucose biscuits emotional innovation is there because each and every mother feels that my son my daughter should be very very healthy this is the emotional innovations you take another example farex you take good number of medicines are there in the market fair and lovely these all things are also touch with forget it this the programs are going on on the television emotional innovations are there process innovation how you are preparing the process and functional some total is the design thinking ideation and entrepreneurship development dear participants psychology of mindset multiple thinking designing the solutions lack the potential service to the end users innovative consultations new flavor of thoughts and study of users emotion some total is nothing but the nurturing entrepreneurship nurturing entrepreneurship base is the design thinking how you are thinking on the basis of that your development will be taken place i'm running short of time that's why i'm skipping some slides due to time constraint let dhirubhai ambani made a statement ideas are not the monopoly of anyone and i purposefully kept one photograph how they are playing the game how they prepared the platform ground 
That's why. Ideas are not the monopoly of anyone. My request to the principal, sir, and all participants and the authority of the institution that conduct the idea presentation activities in your colleges, in your institutions. Ask the students to participate. Ask the teachers to participate. Ask other people, outside people, any 10th standard or dropout student can give a very good amount of idea that helps to convert that idea into ideation and ideation to the entrepreneurship. For that purpose, the very good amount of innovation is required because innovation is equal to dream plus a design plus innovate and how we are innovators, idea generators, creativity providers. That helps. Take it an example. I purposefully kept photograph the old gene pants. They put it mud into the, that soil into that and made a plantation in that gene pants and tagged in a tree. This is the innovation. This is the idea. And when ideas are there, these ideas will be converted into entrepreneurship. Innovation is nothing but ability to think out of the box. And when we are having ability, then automatically creativity, then innovations are possible. And that innovation will provide the ideas. Friends, what exactly design thinking? In design thinking, there are five steps. You can take the photograph of it or not. The points first step is a empathy second one is a define third stage is a ideate fourth one is a prototype and fifth one is a test if you want to become an entrepreneur if you want to start a startup the first one is a empathy that is understand the feeling of others which product i'm going to produce which medicine i'm going to produce what is the feeling of others then Define the issue. What is the issue? Why I want to produce this? Then idea it means develop the ideas. Prototype means idea into the reality. And test, that is the feedback. These are the five stages in design thinking. We will discuss one by one design thinking for innovations, for entrepreneurship development, empathy, define, ideate, prototype, and test. Friends, the first one is a empathy. Empathy means, I purposefully kept two photographs on the screen. The first one is, a small kid is crying and another kid is, kid is touching his body. There is a empathy, understanding the feeling of others. That the second kid, which touched to the first kid body, that second kid is taking the feeling of that first kid. First kid is taking the feeling of Second kid, this is the first stage in design thinking. For this stage, we have to collect the information. My request to all participants, start collection of the information. Where you want to start your startup? Which product you are going to produce? Which have a business you are going to start? For that purpose, collection of the information is required. And then we have to put our legs into the other shoes. Collected information we have to analyze. Detailed information are required. What is the exact problem? Why we want to? Take it an example, the another photograph. The garden is there. They designed a bougainville. Just like they are pouring the flowers from the bucket. What is the problem? Practically, daily we are unable to do it. But such a bougainville, such a type of garden has designed they are giving the feelings of it so what is the problem for that purpose the research is required in this first stage that is the empathy deep understanding the problem my dear participants what is the base what is the foundation what is the crack in design thinking in entrepreneurship development in ideation that is exactly knowing the problem take it an example Mr. Patil visited to the doctor's dispensary and that Patil patient showing the doctor, doctor, my head is paining. Doctor give the prescription 
of 15 days, three tablet morning, three tablet afternoon, three tablet evening, and asked that patient come after 15 days. After 15 days, patient again visited to the dispensary, to the doctor's hospital, and patient saying, sir, my head is paining, sorry, my hand is paining. Then again, doctor examined his hand, given 15 days tablets, morning three, afternoon three, evening three. And he asked that patient come after 15 days. After next 15 days, patient again visited to the hospital. And again, patient saying, sir, my chest is paining. Doctor examined the chest. Again, tablets are given, asked him that patient to come 15 days back. Again, he is showing the leg. Again, 15 days, my dear friends, that patients not troubling the head. There were no headache. There were no hand problem. There was no chest problem. There was the problem of the finger. Finger was having a problem. Where this finger touches, pain starts. That exact problem analysis is required in infancy. Then only we can become an entrepreneur. Design thinking is possible. In an empathy, what we say, what we think, what we feel, and what we do, it's a combination we have to do. At top hand side, right hand, bouquet has developed with a different type of handkerchief. And at left hand, bottom, one business model I kept. The fish are eating the, the west body part second stage is the define what is the issue what are the challenges you refer this photograph nine passengers are traveling on the two wheeler who what why where and when we have to answer these questions that is the define know the exact issues think about the meaningful and actionable problem what is the point of view called as a pov users point of view need point of view inside point of view in a simple word problem statement and for that purpose we have to think about this mckinsey 7s model i developed the eighth years that is the skill, staff, strategy, style, shared value, structure, and system. And one more yes, which I contributed in this McKinsey 7S model, that is a sustainability. When we are talking about the design thinking, ideation, and entrepreneurship development, this model we have to remember. I'm skipping this story of the third stage. Third step is ideate. We have to ideate the ideas. Development of the ideas. Potential matching is required. Brainstorming, good amount of brainstorming is necessary. Evaluation of the ideas, application of the ideas, collection of the information, finding the solutions and need-based idea development is necessary. And for idea development, good amount of creativity is required. How you are developing the ideas with the help of brainstorming, with the help of mind mapping, with the help of storyboard, with the help of movement and with the help of game. I right hand side in a square watermelon I kept. Instead of in a bowl shape, square watermelon have developed in a square shape because for packing, because for transportation, this is the idea. Fourth stage is prototype. We have to develop the prototype. In a prototype development, testable prototype under a startup. Prototype 1, Prototype 2, Prototype 3. Likewise, we have to develop and test it in a physical form. Conversion of that idea into the product, into the reality. That is called as a prototype. This is a basic model. This is the fourth step. It is a closer to the finished product. How it is useful to the users? What type of design is required? And what are the practicalities? whether any limitations are there. And fifth one, test it. Collect the feedback. Ask the users, stakeholders, map the feedback. Work with the consumers. Take their feedback 
and refine your product. Do the continuous learning. Provide your product to the end users. Do repairs. Do modifications. That is a testing. Test your right or wrong product is proper or not. We have to conduct a consumer driven trust. If necessary, redesigning is necessary. We have to collect the friendly suggestions. Experiments are necessary and repetitions are necessary. That is the fifth step in design thinking. Constructive, find the notable questions raised and new ideas. Such a type of feedback test is necessary. We know the Malala, the Nobel laureate. She was born in Pakistan in a small town. Girls were banned, putting some restrictions. At the age of 11, she wrote a blog. At 15, she was shot. But she contributed a lot in the field of education and got the Nobel Prize. One narrating, citing this example, if innovative ideas are there, we can think very nicely. One of the survey was conducted in 2012 by GMAC. Entrepreneur says that B school prepared them to lead my company, grow my business 90%, develop an idea 88%, and create an HR plan 59%, if necessary, with the permission of authority of uh, Bhujbal Knowledge City, as well as the principal, we can conduct one online certificate course for you participants that regarding the entrepreneurship development, regarding the startup, regarding the idea development, holding scooter, chair, Cadbury's, the Colabri famous chapel, the dress prepared by banana trash, such a different ideas we can think. Friends, the last, there was the question in the examination. Hadappa Mohan Jado ki Samskriti par Prakash Daliye. The answer was, the student has given, the torch has drawn, and in front of torch, Hadappa Mohan Jado ki Samskriti, it is not a design thinking, it is not a creativity, it is not a ideation, it is not a entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship is nothing but the thinking in a different way, innovative way. Thank you, one and all, my dear participants. Over to the organizers. Sorry, I consumed seven minutes extra. Thank you, one and all. Thank you so much, sir. What an amazing and interesting session this was. And uh, we are getting a lot of questions from participants. So I will just select a few questions and then uh, you can answer them. So the first question that we have is what are the simple steps teacher can take to develop entrepreneurial mindset in students? <laughs> Very good question, madam. <laughs> it is a great challenge. Uh, my dear respected uh, uh, participants who asked this question and ma majority of the participants are having the same type of question. Maybe what I'm doing, I'm doing, personally doing, I'm telling one successful entrepreneurship story in every lecture in two minutes or I'm telling a successful entrepreneurship one quality. For example, Bill Gates, he's a dreamist. He is a dreamist. He is always flying in a dream. So when we are in a dream, then I am making a statement. Divsa swapna baga ratri bagunaka. Okay. Then I am quoting. Visa Khandekar wrote a book, Amrutwen. And the quote is there in a regional language. I will quote it. Manasani swapna pahi chastat. Swapna Satya Srishti Madhe Udravanya Sati Bhagirat Pratna Karavai Chastat. Ani Durdaivana Ekada Swapna Bhanga Paula Tari Bhanga Paulela Swapna Ancha Tukadaya Varun Rakta Lela Payani Chalat Zaun Punha Swapna Pahai Chastat. And how we are seeing the dream? 
don't move towards the job, think about the entrepreneurship, then slowly, I know very well, only 1% or 2% students are interested to be an entrepreneur. 98, 99% students are interested, fond of jobs only. Yes. So, likewise, this we can motivate the students to be an entrepreneur. If possible, if possible, with the permission of your principal and your authorities, organize once in a month one lecture of entrepreneur. Yes, that's a great suggestion, sir. Uh, so what are the people? Please. Tell them success stories, tell them failure stories. Organize, invite the bankers, three, four bankers on the campus and organize the exhibition. Bankers will say these are the schemes, including DIC, Jilla Udyog Kendra, MCAD, and such a stalls. They will sitting there, students are coming, discussing. I did it. I developed one bungalow for entrepreneurship sale, different type of schemes, government schemes are highlighted. It's a documentation is there. So it is a slow process. It is a slow process. Karan dharatunas viradasto, to patlancha raju nokri dharla, and Zadwansa Pandu no Dandyat Padla Manto. So Titunas Padla Zata. Our parents, our families, our nearby people are reluctant to accept as an entrepreneur. And that is a great challenge before all of us. Thank you. Over to organize. Uh, what a beautiful answer, sir. Uh, next question I have is are there any courses available for to learn design thinking? Yes, madam. There are the online courses are there. And with the permission of you, I can design in university and university will provide the certificate. We can conduct one week or uh, 10 days design thinking because it is a practical based madam. We have to do the practical. I am unable to give the justice because of the time constraint. I have to move to the university for other yes. work. Uh, yes. So it is a practical based we can do and online courses are there. IIMs are also run running. IITs are also running the design thinking courses. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, sir. So I will take one last question. A lot of questions are there. Uh, what an amazing session. This is clearly indicated by the enthusiasm of participants and the questions coming in. So the last question is, uh, are there any specific grants for teachers who want to pursue entrepreneurship? Okay. Uh, grants, uh, what model I developed in my university? We collected 5 crores rupees corpus. And out of that money, we are going to give, yet not disbursed, we are going to provide some portion, maybe 1 lakh, 2 lakhs, 5 lakhs rupees to the teachers with the help of that. And uh, the, the MSME schemes are there. Mudra Yojana is there. DIC schemes are there. 25%, 35% for women entrepreneurship, sometimes 50%, sometimes 80% subsidies are there. Which business you want to start, whether it is a social, economical, environmental, health related, health science related, which business, which startup on the basis of that. But again, my request is there with folded hands that Dusriyanche paishe givun udyog karaycha manat vichar ajiba danunak. You can put it your money. Uh, me thoda sa lighter side la manen, uh, sorry for original language. Upon Zugar Launa Lak Don Lakata. We have to play that type of risk. We have to upon risk again, and we don't want to take the risk, and someone should finance us. And I'm ready to be a businessman. Immediately I want to purchase a Mercedes Benz car of worth rupees two crores and push back chair with handsome secretary. It will not work. If you want to be a businessman, work from morning six to midnight twelve. Spend one day a week if you want to become an entrepreneur to the industry. Work on the floor space, work in the pharmaceutical industry. Devotedly working is necessary. Learn a lot of things. Ups and downs are there. Becoming a businessman, entrepreneur, it is not easy. Otherwise, I would have been resigned my job and I would have been joined as an entrepreneur. But teaching, guiding others, it is very easy. But at the same time, putting our legs into other shoes, it is very challenging. But we can do. Yes, there are funding agencies. I, if possible, I will send by mail to you, madam. You can circulate. Uh, there are the different type of organizations. They are ready to provide. Venture capital is there. Bankers are ready to finance. <coughs> LLP model is there. Limited liability partnership is there. 
I'm requested in my university more than 21 colleges are providing the financial assistance to their teachers as well as the students and they are requesting they are motivating them my teachers my dear students start entrepreneurship startup in the college campus institute campus share a 10 percent profit to the college for first three years after three years <coughs> once you're sustainable you can move outside you can go industrial estate anywhere and you can start your own business this is a prototype this is a sort of startup and this is very much essential for thinking in a different way neither ami shikshak except exception zhapad bandla sarkha pustak geto vargat jaun ppt varun lecture deto ani pagar geto ami university professor grantable che professor he sevad che sarkar che javai here after it is not possible to be such a type of jobs we have to think we have to motivate madhe kautu kay tumchat madam tumhi asha prakar cha program organize kela ani jawar jawar 280 participants have been listening this apan jari udyojak jhalo nahi tari udyojak banavnare udyojak ho shakto so we can motivate our students we can give the guidance to them we can show the path my request is that each and every college should start a startup stage incubation stage establish the section 8 company which is as per aict as per nba as per nac it is requirement so if we if we will do it it takes step its own time it takes its own time yes. Uh, thank thank you. you so much, sir. Uh, uh, it was a wonderful session. You all had a beautiful foundation for today's uh, session. And I am very sure every teacher must be motivated right now. It is vision of our respected principal, sir, uh, to have an incubation center here. And we will definitely connect you for that. Now I will hand over to uh, Dr. Kankate, madam, and she will facilitate you, sir, with the certificate. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir, for your informative session. Uh, surely it will be helpful to faculty members for mentoring students in conversion of idea to prototype. Now, I would like to felicitate Dr. Anna Saif Gurav, sir, as token of our appreciation by virtual certificates. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Thank you, sir. For this particular subject, one day is required, minimum five to six hours. So I can give the justice for it. Otherwise, it is a little bit. Okay, Thank sir. You. Next time we will plan for the session. Thank you. And I'm very much thankful to the organizer, the authority of the institute, as well as the principal, sir, organizing team and all participants. Don't take it any example or any statement I made. My intention is there, the design thinking ideation of that design thinking and conversion into entrepreneurship this is my basic intention not to hurt anybody if any word it is harsh to you anybody sorry for that thank you one and all thank you once again sir session now i request shaiki sir to introduce sania valerao ma'am over to you sir Uh, thanks, Dr. Kankate, Madam. Uh, good morning to all students, research scholars, and staff members from various institutes. I, Rakesh Shaikh, assistant professor from Department of Pharmaceutical Chemistry. It's great pleasure for me to introduce our own second eminent speaker, Ms. Sanya Bhalra, Madam, who is going to talk on a topic, Introduction to Incubation Center Projects. Madam has done her MTech in Biotechnology from VIT University, Bellor, Tamil Nadu. She has a total 13 years of academic and research experience in the field of life sciences, biotechnology, bioinformatics, cellular biology, immunology, genetic and pharmaceutical sciences. She is a co-founder and research head of EcoSoul for last six years. EcoSoul was established in 2015 as a social enterprise. The main area of focus was river water pollution and sustainable 
women livelihood creations she had developed seven eco friendly biodegradable products as an alternative to chemical based cleaning products of personal and common hygiene these products were manufactured in her own unit at pune by below poverty line women and then sold in various retail shops across the maharashtra usp her brand was completely organic quality free vegan clinic products which were formulated by iron house research and development and are handmade as a social enterprise her own firm work alongside many ngos like jivit nadi jala biradari for a social cause of environment and river water pollution she had received funding from antel india as a social entrepreneur for early years of the startups writing is one of her passions due to this madam has written so many blogs in various platforms as a new newspapers and digital media on a topic of world cinema literature urdu poetry gen, uh, gender sensitive issue women health life sciences career guidance she is working as columnist in various newspapers like lok satta Sa- sadhna divya marathi samna maharashtra times apla mahanagar amaltash prakashan also she had also got co-authored two books ved avliyansa and kaivalya nyani by anant bhalrao madam in association with ngos like antel india vasundhara swachh abhiyan jal biradari nelda foundation jivit nadi kalyani cooperative society mafcos she was work as a assistant professor in biotechnology department in siyagad engineering college pune for 4.5 years currently madam is working as a assistant professor in department of pharmaceutics in our own mit iit nasik welcome you ma'am thank you so much sir uh, before uh, beginning to session please note that if you have any questions for speaker please drop it in chat box due to time constraint some question will be answered by the speaker those questions which will not be attempted for that will be share contact details of speaker on telegram group at the end of the sessions now i request sanya ma'am to address the audience over to you ma'am thank you so much sir uh, so very warm uh, good morning to everyone after an excellent session given by dr gurup sir Uh, i'll be talking about how to set up an incubation center the main focus of uh, today's talk today's day is basically entrepreneurship and incubation and with regard to that what gurav sir has laid a beautiful foundation on what is design thinking ideation and entrepreneurship and i'll be continuing continuing this thing further with an incubation center i would really like to thank uh, dr devka ma'am and uh, patil sir for giving me this opportunity also i would like to thank uh, respected dr kshirsagar sir for arranging such a uh, wonderful very thoughtful uh, fdp on uh, how to be a new age teacher so we'll start with the slides uh, i think many of you would have thought that if it is about new age teacher what entrepreneurship and incubation center the subjects are doing in this fdp so uh, gurav sir has said very interesting thing that in atal ranking for higher education institutes now this is coming as one of the clause as a professor has to be a entrepreneur i personally find it very amazing because uh, my journey so far has been teaching and into entrepreneurship and i think this is a very excellent opportunity for all the teachers out there to try something different and i personally believe that each one of us has entrepreneurial bone inside our body our uh, only thing is it has to be tickled at a very good point and i'm very sure that our fdp is that point for you if we could achieve that then i think uh, all our efforts uh, would be counted in so without wasting much time i will start with what is incubation center 
uh, incubation center is the institution that assists entrepreneurs in developing their businesses solving problems associated with it especially uh, in the initial uh, providing array of businesses and technical services advisory network and linkages so basically uh, that is what an incubation center is it's a it's a platform wherein all the solution to the problem of idea to prototype is given uh now next comes what is the role of an incubation center incubation center fosters innovation research and entrepreneurial activities in technology based areas it provides platform for in house startups by budding students entrepreneurs and intrapreneurs to convert their innovation ideas into commercially viable product now this is a very very important point uh what happens is many of us has lot of ideas uh in my journey so far in academics and in research i have seen lot of people with a good potential to think outside the box i mean they have an idea but how to convert an idea into a product i think that is where challenge comes in and for that incubation center is very necessary so it basically provides services related to the commercialization of the product now uh, if you see on the slide incubation center has basically uh, three values inspire innovate and incubate so base first is inspire uh, as gurav sir has rightly said in this previous lecture motivation plays extremely important part and i think the main job of a teacher is apart from teaching the subjects he is supposed to take a teacher should be able to motivate students and um, i think it's a great tool in teachers hand to be able to motivate students so the main focus of incubation center is inspire inspire to think inspire to uh, i'm sorry so inspire to think inspire to uh, create different ideas so incubation center basically provides industry interface it can have different entrepreneurs coming into your education institute and talk with the students you can arrange different guest lectures and seminars so that students will be motivated second part of incubation center is innovate uh incubation center has something called as entrepreneurial labs uh like all of most of you must be a pharmaceutical sciences teachers and we have different labs in our college like pharmacology cognosy sutex and so on similarly incubation center has a entrepreneurial lab now the question is what happens in this lab what sort of experiments does take place in this lab so uh what happens is in entrepreneurial lab uh students or the budding entrepreneurs are taught to think outside of the box so this is where design thinking comes in the picture and uh, we have seen various steps of design thinking in the previous lecture empathy ideate converting idea into prototype so all these various parts are basically um, take take place into entrepreneurial lab now next is incubate in in incubation there are a lot of different things first is business plan preparation then then there is skill development training then one to one monitoring is there investor meet happens and, and again initial marketing support is provided so all these three are basic fundamental parts of an incubation center inspire innovate and incubate now what are the main activities of incubation center the first and foremost incubate early stage entrepreneurial ventures based on technology and innovation so suppose uh, we are in a college and we have a incubation center at our college 
we give a lot of projects to the students so uh, is there any way we can make them understand how this project itself can be commercialized so one thing a teacher has to understand is we have immense uh, working capital in our hand and those are our students instead of just giving them projects and then they having lot of you know a uh, big big bundle of thesis for their m farm projects and for their phd projects what if we could give them a project which is commercially sustainable i think that is what is the need of an hour and the beautiful part of pharmaceutical sciences is that it has amazing subjects which has very true commercial potential if you come to think of it the syllabus with this in the, even the syllabus of b farm or even m farm what are the subjects that we study it is pharmacognosy we have sotex we have pharmacology uh, we have pharmaceutical chemistry so i just always have this feeling when i was studying uh, my initial years of pharmaceutical sciences in my b farm that uh, this is a course which is made for future entrepreneurs because if you want to develop any product all you need to understand is its formulation its development and the jurisprudence which is uh, required for it to market and all of this is covered in pharmaceutical sciences only thing that is missing is how to market it and that is where incubation center comes in because we can hire people to market our products but we cannot hire anyone to think out of the box and that's where the power of pharmaceutical sciences as a subject comes in and i would really like to request all the teachers all the participants who are attending this lecture is to understand and realize the potential of this very course that is pharmaceutical sciences most of the time i have seen this subject is extremely undermined by the teachers themselves because uh, somehow they can't see the complete picture but if you really look into suppose we want to uh, i'm sorry i'm little going out of the slides but i feel this is very important so suppose they're looking at particular uh, disease per se and uh, i want to like like let's take a example of covid pandemic situation if you see lot of uh, drugs have been uh, coming out in the market which are for covid 19 there are sprays available now earlier nobody would have thought that a spray will come into the picture but now spray is there and there is this anti metabolite by dr reddy's dcg2 uh, so how this has come up because we know the problem we know how disease works we know the etiology of the disease we know the pathways involved in the disease process we know the receptors we know the molecules we know how to formulate it we know how to conduct animal studies so what is it that we don't know we know everything so only thing lacking is design thinking ideation and then taking that product into a market so this is essentially where incubation center comes in the picture so the second point would be create physical infrastructure and support systems necessary for business incubation activities that is the second activity of incubation center the third activity is facilitate networking with professional resources which include mentors experts consultants and advisors for the incubate companies so incubation center as such can hire different people for uh, different roles i can hire ipr consultant i can hire mentor which works in suppose in nutraceutical or someone who is a marketing guru and who can actually uh, market that particular product which has been developed inside a incubation center so these are the activities of incubation center next promote and foster the spirit of entrepreneurship now i personally feel this is extremely important to keep students motivated and which should be the first and foremost job of a teacher at an incubation center 
then carry out activities that facilitate knowledge creation innovation and entrepreneurship activities now what this can be if we come to think of it what these activities can be like as a teacher what i can do in my college so i can take different idea competitions like there are competition which even happens in our college which is called as idea thon it happens in various universities as well so a teacher has to be well informed uh, which are such competition how we can ask our students to ideate you know so that kind of a thing uh, to foster entrepreneurship is extremely important and that is what incubation center basically does and the most important point is nurturing entrepreneurship in those who have passion for creating new ideas uh, i think this is again a very very important uh, subject and for this we will quickly go into uh, entrepreneurship what are different entrepreneurship uh, which are there so what is entrepreneurship what do you think is entrepreneurship so early or traditionally uh, now this thing has uh, changed a lot earlier people used to think that entrepreneurship is a grocery store i have had a grocery store somewhere and uh, i'm selling some stuff and that is what is entrepreneurship so business is entrepreneurship is what people used to understand but nowadays for outside of the box thinkers that definition was quite narrow it leaves out the idea that entrepreneurship is a way of thinking it's not a business it is how you think that is what entrepreneurship is it is a mindset that is opportunity obsessed holistic in approach and leadership balanced nowadays uh, entrepreneurship is about solving the problems and looking at a problem as an opportunity now this is something that has to be culti cultivated uh, my dear participants teachers who are present here i always feel that most of us look into problem as a problem and that is what the problem is we should be able to look at a problem as an opportunity and when we can do that you know that is where entrepreneurship starts and that is the first step and that is what an incubation center can cultivate into students and into the faculties of a higher education institute now we will quickly look into what are types of entrepreneurship so the first is small business entrepreneurship now this type is has a limited profit margin it can be a small business that has been created by one person and a small business on entrepreneurship is in a rise nowadays like if you take a look at any grocery store or for that matter uh, any uh, you know lizard pupper is an example of small business entrepreneurship a, a business run by women again that's a social angle they have applied to there so this is a small business entrepreneurship next is scalable startup entrepreneurship now uh, this is something uh, everybody must be aware of it that amazon google apple all these companies were started in a garage manje garage madhe suru zhalela ya ideas ahet sagya and the the amazing part about this is that scalability is a very very important word so a scalable startup startup entrepreneurship is a any business which has a potential of a scale up that the idea is so solid that it can transform garage to riches that is what scalable startup entrepreneurship is and the examples as we've already seen it is amazon google apple and so on now this is my favorite part it is intrapreneurship so what is intrapreneurship unlike entrepreneur who is also the founder designer and manager of a business an intrapreneur is a self motivated action oriented employee who thinks out of the box and works as an entrepreneur within a company 
I always personally feel that all of us teachers can be entrepreneurs. So instead of giving an excuses that we work in a college where there is no environment for entrepreneurship, or where is there is no scope for teachers who can think out of the box. Instead of giving these excuses, we can be an entrepreneur ourselves. Now, how that is possible? We'll come to that. So let's take an example of uh, Shutterstock. Shutterstock is a company, many of you must be aware, Shutterstock is where all the images are being databased. So this was an idea which was into a which which came into a hackathon actually. So there is a hackathon which was taken a few years back, and this idea emerged into in that hackathon. And from that, a Shutterstock, such a big company, has come into the picture. So that is what an entrepreneurship is. Now the next, a beautiful example of entrepreneurship is Justin Rosenstein. Now this was the guy who has developed an icon on Facebook, which is like. So I'm very sure all of us are aware of this thumbs up now, you know. So this like feature, this is very interesting story. I will take two minutes to talk about it. So Mark Zuckerberg was not at all in favor of this like button on the Facebook initially. So he has a team of creators and they presented him with an idea. And Justin Rosenstein was the person who was um, the pioneer or we can see inventor of this like button. So at that time, this like button was called as an awesome button. The word was awesome at that point. And somehow Zuckerberg for two, three years was not convinced that this will actually work. So what he thought, if I include a like button, people will stop commenting. So the traffic going to the Facebook will be lesser. But then what happened is this the team persuaded Zuckerberg for a two, three years. They gave him a lot of data. They run a trial. And based on that, finally, they've understood that if the likes are more, then the comments will be more. The engagement of people onto Facebook will be more. And now if you come and come to think of it, if we see any post, and if uspe likes zada hai, so what we think? Ki haa, chalo, kuch to isme achcha hoga. Isme kuch achcha hoga. So I will go and see that. So this is how the engagement of people on a digital platform has worked because of this one idea, which is like. So Justin Rosenstein was an intrapreneur who was working in the Facebook. And later on, he had developed his own company. So that is what his intrapreneurship is. Next is large company entrepreneurship. Now, a large company entrepreneurship is basically companies like Disney, Google, Toyota, who take over many other subsidiaries. It means that a small uh, part of business is not there in their mindset. They want to diversify. They want to acquire new, more businesses. So that is what large company entrepreneurship is. Next is innovative entrepreneurship. So if you have a groundbreaking ideas, of how to start a business or a specific services and products that can become a business venture, then you are an innovative entrepreneur. So as an innovator, you know you must always be aware of the current market conditions to find original creative ways to disrupt them. Now, this is a very important word, disrupt. What does it mean? You need to disrupt the market. You need to disrupt the current current market condition. So you need to break the, you need to break the trend by setting a new trend. And that is what innovative entrepreneurship is. Lot of digital, digitalized uh, platform, digitalized ideas basically work on innovative entrepreneurship. Next is what all of us must be interested in. This is researcher entrepreneurship. So there is this guy called Theodore Hanch uh, and the John Hall. They developed frequency comb technique in which laser light with series of equidistant frequencies is used to measure frequencies with a great precision. Now they have won Nobel Prize as a physicist, Theodore Hanch, 
and he has co-founded a company called Meleno System. So basically, it's an optical frequency cone. This is what his invention was, and uh, there is a myth which says researchers cannot be entrepreneurs. And Theodore Hanch was a person who break that trend. So he's a Nobel Prize winner in physics and an entrepreneur of Meleno system. So I would really, really like to appeal all the teachers who are present over here, all the participants who are working in the field of pharmaceutical sciences, that the knowledge that we are having, the research potential that we have, we can all be come and intra entrepreneurs we can be an entrepreneurs and we can have an ideal as theodore hash in front of us next is social entrepreneurship this is something i have worked in for last six years so this is very close to my heart social entrepreneurs are innovators whose main goal is to create products and services that both benefit the world and make money now, if you come to think of it, is it is a win-win because you're making a money and you are actually doing a social cause as well. So this thing has really, really come up in a good way in market nowadays. And the the person who started social entrepreneurship was Tom Shoes. It's a company by Blake Myconsky. Uh, so he can be called as a pioneer in social entrepreneurship. And uh, basically what he did was one for one sales model. He implemented that model. Now this has become a very common practice, but back in 2006, this was very, very new. So he basically gave a pair of shoe to a child for sale of his one pair of shoe. Matlab ek shoes ke badle mein ek shoes usne donate kiya. So with this particular cause in his mind, he has driven great amount of profits and he has solved a majority concern for shoeless children who were underprivileged. So this is how the foundation of social entrepreneurship was laid. Now we have seen types of entrepreneurship. You have seen different, what are different types and everything. Now the question comes, what are the benefits of incubation center? Like you must be thinking, why do I need incubation center in my college? Right? So we will see step by step why it is needed. The first is the benefit for entrepreneurs. What are the benefits of incubation center for entrepreneurs? The new technology or to get product developed. Now this is very important. Even if I have an idea in my head, suppose chalo. Okay, I have to formulate an anti-diabetic molecule for that example. Let's see. Now, there are immense anti-diabetic molecules in the market already, right? Now, how can I think of a different ways of uh, probably having an anti-diabetic molecule product or even uh, for that matter, blood sugar testing or um, is there any app which will support a lot of other diabetic patients who, which are located in Maharashtra and can I connect with them as a diabetic person? Now this will go on and so forth. It can be applied to um, mental diseases as well. So the possibilities are immense. So how to develop a product, how to have the technology instead and how to, how to get idea into prototype. You know, for that, the incubation center is beneficial. Next is uh, informed investment choice. It's very important when we, I will start a business, it's very important for me to understand what are different types of companies that I can set up. It can be an LLP, that is limited liability partnership. In ca it can be a private limited fund, private limited company, it can be a section 8 company, it can be NGO, it can be a profit model, it can be a non-profit model, it can be a hybrid model. So all the uh, advice related to investment can be given by incubation center. So this is basically first is benefits of incubation center for entrepreneurs. Okay. 
next is for corporate world now uh, low cost innovative centers is the first and foremost thing second possibilities for take over if you actually come to see of it lot of startups get take take over by various other uh, companies big companies which are large scalable companies they actually take a startup after a few years they take over it so this is a basically a benefit for corporate world next is for higher educational institutes now this is the most important point for us uh so first and foremost is branding of an institute incubation center will actually take your institute as a brand how as a new age as technologically adaptive and as an educational institute with intellectual potential so your college will be looked up as a good brand that is the first thing second a uh, higher education institutions and universities in india are ranked by moes that is ministry of education's atal ranking of institution on innovation and achievements that is aria so one of the important point in aria ranking is whether a college has incubation center or not so this is this important that's why i personally feel that every higher education institute should have an incubation center and as now as time is going on further and further entrepreneurship incubation is going to be one of the most important point for all technical courses at least and uh, pharmaceutical sciences is one of this so again appeal to all the teachers all the delegates all important people who are present over here who can change something in their respective colleges i would really urge you to Uh, look as incubation center as a good good opportunity to change the scenario to build the ecosystem in your college now uh, if we look at what is incubation process so there are various phases of incubation process phase 1 2 3 and 4 phase 1 is basic check what kind of uh, incubation center you want is it technologically based do you want it to be innovative do you want it to be a realistic model so what is in your head that is first check up second you have to evaluate so if i have given a idea because idea ke to kabhi 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 kami nahi ho sakti we have lot of ideas coming up so which is the idea which can be commercially feasible to be able to evaluate that you know as an incubator as a incubator is very important so evaluation is important feasibility is important a uh, commitment whether my students or the incubity is willing to commit his time to develop the idea into prototype this is again very important next is phase 3 which is coaching so once i have incubities once i have uh, students with me i have an idea it is now the process starts of idea into prototype i should have a business plan i should have a very good project in my hand so that the idea will be getting converted into the prototype and next is support this is a phase 4 so networking contracts financing this all is a part of phase 4 now the main main important question for which we all are uh, gathered here it is getting started at an in, in educational institute how to have a center at my college as the chart shows up idea prototype incubation market fundraising and scale up this is a process and for that we have several sections we have pre incubation one where is idea needs to be validated then we have pre incubation idea ka प्रोटोटाइप बनेगा यहाँ पे नेक्स्ट इज एक्चुअल इंक्यूबेशन सो वेर इन ऑल द मेंटीज विल बी मेंट फॉर वेरियस अदर आस्पेक्ट एज आई मेंशन अर्लियर द कमर्शियल फिजिबिलिटी 
the the type of investment that we're looking for uh next comes market which is acceleration so market fund raising this comes into now acceleration now this is not incubation after incubation comes acceleration matlab rocket mein sab dal diya fuel everything abhi rocket udne wala hai okay that is acceleration next for scale up this is execution what does it mean that i have a idea i have prototype now it has come into market i have started my startup product is coming into the market and now it has to sustain how it will sustain with the scalability with the vision of being able to sustain for next 3 to 4 years and that is where execution comes part and again there incubation center plays very very important role because we have a lot of mentors who are there to help you to be able to sustain into the business that you started now very interesting question i have last 10 minutes so i'll quickly go through this does incubation center really work how to how idea to prototype funda actually can be executed how innovative mindset can be cultivated a uh, lot of questions are there must be in your head i'm very sure those who are listening to this uh, session so let's try to apply design thinking which was already been taken by uh, gurav sir for those who were not there in this earlier lecture design thinking is to be able to think outside of the box so empathy ideation prototype is all about design thinking so let's ideate together i am expecting uh, participation from all of you guys so the simple question is can you draw a fan i will give you 2 minutes and uh, i hope you have pen paper something with you so can you draw a fan and i will wait for 2 minutes i'm very very sure that uh, many of you must be uh, great thinkers who can think really really outside outside of the box so i would really request you guys to draw a fan on the paper one minute is over i will wait for one more minute okay so i'll go to next slide now uh, on the screen you able to see various different fans out there so if uh, now we will i'm going to score uh, all of you don't take it in a, a negative way uh, let's try to understand how the process of ideation takes place and how incubation center is there for uh, you guys who want to think outside the box okay this is an exercise fun exercise so if you take at this picture ye hamara normal pankha hai if you've drawn such kind of a structure jisme teen char blades and everything hanging on the ceiling this is for five marks okay now i'm going to score all the teachers over here who score students all the time so this this is going to be fun so if you drawn this structure give yourself five marks now if you drawn something like this a fan with 10 blades a fan with light in it uh, or a, or even a, a standing fan like this this is the another structure all together if you drawn something like this give yourself a 10 marks okay now if you drawn a fan with a light in it this is a uh, or or a fan with uh, something extra feature kuch alag feature hai usko kuch hatke hai wo fan give yourself 15 marks and if if i'm very sure i will be very happy to see ki agar koi atrangi thinker hai yahan pe who has drawn a fan like this now this is a smart fan which is coming to the market uh, which is going to come in the market and this is light inside it so this is a smart fan which works on the internet so if you're thinking something like that if you've drawn something like that give yourself 20 marks now 
I would request you, some of you who are kind enough to share your marks with me so that uh, we'll be able to understand how you can ID it. So can you share your score with me? Uh, yes, madam. Uh, so many of participants are having score between uh, five or ten. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you for that. Thank you for the input. So this is a uh, this is a great thing. Uh, even five or ten is not bad at all. We are not expecting twenty. But what incubation center is going to do is to convert your score from five to twenty. You know. So center yeah. is going to teach you how to ideate and how to think outside the box. So the exercise was for, for this reason only. We'll move on to the next slide. Now, the next slide is, uh, what are the requirements for setting up an incubation center? So the, with the goal of promoting innovation and entrepreneurship, the state and central government has been giving various grants for higher educational institute for setting up incubation center. Prerequisite for setting up of an incubation center for many such grants is either establishment of a Section 8 company or have a private limited. Now, various social entrepreneurship ventures, collaboration are possible for under Section 8 company. So, higher education institutes who want to have an incubation center and who want to have grants for their education uh, for their center can have Section 8 companies set up in their college. Now, this is important for those uh, participants who want to set up incubation center at their own colleges. So, which are the grants available? MSINS, that is Maharashtra State Innovation Society's grant. Then MSMS grant is there. Department of Science and Technology grant is there, DST. Then Niti Ayo, that is National Institution for Transforming India. And uh, Bio Incubators, Bio Nest. Is, an, is, an, is a grant available for bio, biotechnology related uh, setups. In the present climate of innovation in India, there is a support available for both R&D of idea and commercialization of products. It is provided by Science and Technology Entrepreneurship Parks, that is STEPS, and Technology Business Incubators, that is TBIs, by National Science and Technology Entrepreneurship Development Board, that is NSTEDB of Department of Science and Technology. So those participants who are interested in various uh, schemes can actually search DST and NSTEDB website. There are fellowships available for entrepreneurs. Now this is very important for the students who can motivate DST Nidhi uh, is actually promoting and accelerating young and aspiring technology entrepreneurs, that is Prayas. So Prayas is a scheme which is there and the fellowship is given to a lot of young entrepreneurs through Prayas. So we have Nidhi EIR, that is entrepreneur in residence. Then we have Nidhi Seed Support System, Nidhi Triple S. So these are the fellowships available for the students. There is something called as MITI. That is Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. Now, METI takes a lot of challenges as well for the students. So if somebody has an idea, they can uh, go through this uh, various platform mentioned over here. Apart from this, for social cause, we have Sparsh. We have Social Alpha. This is based in Bangalore. And it has innovation ecosystem and it has incubation labs as well. Infosys Foundation, Marshall Curl Fellowships are two fellowships which are actually there who can support idea to prototype. Apart from this, we have organizations like Startup India, we have DST, we have BIRAC, we have Venture Center who can uh, be a good incubators themselves and who can guide you for setting up an incubation center in your college. So if ideas are floating in your mind, an incubation center with faculty members' expertise and knowledge can mentor students 
and even faculty themselves to convert idea into an actual product so one of the only ways to get out of tight box is to invent your way out now this is my favorite quote by jeff bezos who is a founder and executive chairman of amazon so if your plan is this and if this is a reality together with uh, with the help of incubation center we can explore the way through it so i think that's it i will end my session over here uh, thank you madam for your uh, stimulating speech surely it will help to our students staff and those who are planning to have an incubation center and startups uh, here we have some questions to you ma'am can we take a questions yes sir yes please uh, the first question is uh, what is prerequisite of msins grant for higher education institute yeah sure so basically msins prerequisite is uh, uh, there are two things how first one is to have a section at company and second uh, you can also have a private limited uh, company as well so any educational institute can form section 8 which is for non profit and if it is a private limited it will be for profit so these are the two things which are important for msins grant okay madam uh, we'll have a second questions uh, how incubation center can benefit college okay that's a very interesting question incubation center basically as i already said it it is going to develop a brand for your college it's yes. going to put your college in uh, area ranking uh, very up is going to project your institute as just not one of those uh, you know mere institute where in normal teaching is happening it is something which is different from others so that's what incubation center is going to do for your college Okay, madam. Uh, one last question we are going to take: uh, How to impart entrepreneurial mindset in educational institutes? Uh, I think the 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 first and foremost way is to have an incubation center developed. You can actually motivate a uh, lot of your faculties to take up projects which are commercial of which are of commercial value. You can motivate students to ideate more. Uh, as i already said pharmaceutical sciences is a excellent branch which has a very good commercial potential so uh, i think all pharmacy teachers students can start thinking ki mere paas idea to hai isko main market mein kaise leke jaungi with that attitude i think this problem will be solved yeah uh, thank you ma'am it's a very nice session uh, madam for the remaining queries uh, the audience will contact you either on telegram group or they will email you yes sir sure i'll be available yeah. thank you so much yeah yeah thank you ma'am for your giving valuable times uh, now i would like to inform uh, felicitate miss uh, sanya ma'am as a token of our appreciation by virtual certificates kindly accept it ma'am thank you so much okay thank you ma'am for your motivating words Uh, I would like to thank all the participants who have who were actively actively present there. I would like to thank Dr. Devka Ma'am, uh, Patil Sir, and Dr. Sanjay Shishagwa Sir for giving me this opportunity to talk over here. Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, thank you, Ma'am. Uh, one announcement is there for all the participants to find a link for today's last session in chat box and FD feed on Telegram group. Uh, so we'll meet. on a one o'clock for a lecture how to plan a research project by dr k m shek okay thank you everyone have a nice day